Attention! Listen up! The biggest mistake Yuktabania has made in their blitz attack is that it had failed to sink any of our aircraft carriers. We'll evacuate all intact carriers to our inland sea, yeah. then use them as a base to rebuild our counter-strike force. You've been called to service and a very important operation, people. All Keep right. that in mind out there. We have now. Today at 1500 hours, three carriers from the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet will rendezvous at Eaglen Straits. These carriers are the Vulture, the Buzzard, and the Kestrel, which has successfully escaped from Port St. Hewlett, thanks to your help. Your mission is to coordinate with the Kestrel and provide top cover for all carriers during the rendezvous. Should you encounter enemy attack, defend the three carriers at all costs. The situation is fluid. So be sure to choose an aircraft with good defensive capability against both air and ground-based threats. All right, choose an aircraft. That's probably far better. All right, I'm sorry, I'm throwing nine feet off. Tiger shot. And I sell my Tiger too. Yeah, definitely. Better in every way. Fine. Nothing. Easiest mission in the world. That's what it was supposed to be. It wasn't just us, but everyone they could get their hands on. General mobilization. Our planes filled the sky like a huge aluminum cloud. There was no way the enemy could attack. The queens of the ocean made it to the inland sea. We've got it made in the shade now. Outside the range of an enemy air attack. Permission granted to return to your assigned bases in sequence. The aircraft may refuel for the return trip if required. Hold above the carrier for the tanker aircraft. Everyone's starting to fire a couple of bombs, Captain. Walk off on. squadron. I told you to wait for the tanker plane above the carrier. I swear, man. Off our hey, side. What is that? Is my radar on the fritz? It's showing up on mine. Ward off. It gates it now. From? How come the morons at Thunder Block didn't notice it? Yo, kid! You have to call him captain now. 
guys are packing any ship missiles. Can you see any? Oh no. We can't let yeah. them get near the ships. If we find any, we'll go after it. Enemy fighters closing in on carriers. I've lost my life. Enemy fighters within range to fire anti ship missiles. Defend the carrier. This is the aircraft carrier vulture. Missile strike off our bow. Severe shockwaves. Radar lock. attack squadron has withdrawn from the area. The aircraft carriers Vulture and Buzzard were sunk by a powerful burst missile attack. According to hydrophone data analysis, we have determined that the attack was carried out by the Synfaxi, a Yuktobanian underwater attack carrier. Wait. The specs of this ship are unknown, but its existence confirms that the advanced shipbuilding efforts of the Yuktobanians have been going on unabated since the previous war. The Synfaxi is a serious threat to our objectives. 
Emergency transmission from Central. Our army has decided to deploy the military power of the Arkbird to neutralize the grave threat posed by this new enemy submarine. Huh. That Arkbird. See? Got I like someone called War still exists in the day. We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkans set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkan cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Ocean, formerly a haven for Belkans, but now entrusted to Ocean. If you refer to it by that name, it's going to be but put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belka. Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by junior cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we returned. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Why that? Because he's the guy who pounded basic fighter maneuvers into us. Now we can lord it over all these guys. You said it. These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling, so we had to land at every base along the way. I can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. 